Crazy. Wow. Well, speaking of all the, good, the primitive dudes, uh, well, how's everything going over there, man? I think, remember the last time you were here, uh, you had just kind of got on primitive and you were talking about how, you know, it was just great and Jeez, you know yeah. traveling again and stuff like that. It's, it's uh, good. Yeah, primitive is good. Primitive is real good. Always good. What do we got, Six. bro? We got some exclusive stuff to talk about right now? I just, we're that? filming a video and I wanted I wanted to make sure that I could- Talk about it? You know, well, give the, the, the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they said to mention it. Here's so. the thing. <laughs> nice. And we'll talk about this video too, because here's the thing with Primitive that I love is they, they'll just drop something on you real quick. They'll mm -hmm. just put out this part. They'll mm -hmm. put out a part with like, you know, a couple dudes in it or mm -hmm. whatever. Like they, they just- they're, they're, they're content kings right now, man. Mm -hmm. Like, they just do it. Alan Hannon, dude. Alan, man. Yeah. I think it's amazing, you know? They just hit you over the head with it real quick. Instant gratification. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nail on the head. I don't know what else to say on that one. I mean, just from the outside looking in, it's just rad. You're like, oh, shit, here's a... Prim like, we didn't know anything about it. They're don't, not advertising anything. It's just like, hey, here's a fucking video. It'll blow your mind. You know Well, what you mean? know how, like, expectations are? Especially yeah. with, like, you start fucking saying some of those guys. It's like... Yeah. Okay, what's Tiago got now? Like, okay, yeah. Conveyor belt of footage. Yeah. But then, like, yeah, when he when he gives it to you, you're still like, okay, how did he just do that? You know, mm -hmm. same with all the guys. Dude, so he got a big Prim squad, man. Yeah, Prim Prim is dope, squad. man. It's gnarly squads. They're um super motivating and good friends. Do you know like what the lineup is? And I know everyone will probably have tricks, but you know, some they usually have like certain lineup of certain parts just with can, the, the can this get edited or no <laughs> no like no. it doesn't uh, no it doesn't. we we edit it but you know just give us the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you look at Jerron, like i'm like looking over i know right yeah that's that, why i keep saying whispering that, like nobody did it okay everyone's uh, the goal the goal originally right full parts at everybody <laughs> full video wow let's get it so, dude. p rod with, let's go let's go with that He's being working. said yeah, it's obviously it's tough. It's last year was cut yeah. because of COVID. No more, no traveling. Um, yeah, this year, who knows what's gonna happen? That was that. That was the initial talk. Let's have everybody have full parts, and then we'll go. And you know, here's the thing, man. When P Rod was on the show, where I you know I always ask P Rod, what's up with the full part, blah blah blah, and he's like, oh, I'm done with that. I'm done mm. with that. He hurts his knee. He's coming back stronger than ever, and you could see it in his eye, man. Like he's gonna have. He's go. He's going for it. He's you know. He's, and he's I, I tell Paul, I'm like Paul, never say never, dude. You know what I mean? Like never say never, dude. Mm -hmm. You're gonna you 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 could get that spark, you know, and film a whole fucking part. Didn't he say that? And then he made a video called Never. I think you're right. Yeah, he like didn't it get, he said it on here. Right. And then he made the video that was a primitive video called Never. And he yeah. says it's never coming out. It's, oh, it's never coming out, and it <laughs> came out. What are you checking? Were well, you checking some notes, Wade? You're texting, nah. who are you texting? <laughs> are you texting you Taylor? Are you, are you texting I'm Taylor? Telling, I'm telling him that I mentioned it. And <laughs> if, if it's cool that I said we're going for a full length. We're at least expecting a Wade part in this. Yeah, like I would love to. You you know, I talk to you all the time, Kelly, about my plans. But yeah. It's going to be different and it's unfortunate. But like if we can travel, it'll be, it'll be dope. It's yeah. just yeah. the it sucks going to a park, especially here, learning things. And then... Dude, you can't do any like really hard technical tricks on these ledges or these spots out here in the east. It's tough. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. not doing nollie flip crook, nollie trays in New York. Yeah. You true. know what I'm saying? You need like and Canada is basically the same thing. Mm. Not like I'm doing nollie flip crook, nollie trays, but you you get my yeah, analogy. Yeah, sure. You need like that that marble or like the China ledge, Barcelona ledge. Barcelona, type. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so. And traveling like, just takes you out of your element, you know? It's you a good sparked, thing. You get yeah. sparked. You know, yeah. sometimes when you're at home, you just kind of fall into your little home routine yeah. and stuff. And it's get hard, to, hard sure. to get get clips sometimes. But, yeah. uh, Where would you want to travel if you wanted to go somewhere to film? Oh, man. They said only one trip. Mm -hmm. We're doing only one trip. What are, where are we going, Wade? Yeah, right. Um, I'm thinking just two right now. China or Barcelona. Like Johnny Tang's back here now, and I've been talking to Johnny about China. He's like, "Man, you gotta go, dude. You have to go." Oh, Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! You've Ooh. never been to China. I've been to China for two days what? on a on a demo trip. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, you need uh, to go to China yeah, for like a month. You'll trip. Wow. <laughs> I almost don't <laughs> think a out. month is long enough. In it China. really isn't. You know. Well, actually, really here's the only thing, bro. It, and no, I, I think Wade's a pretty 
picky eater, you might be tripping out in the food out there. That's uh, the only you could get by. If, you, if you're eat. there for a month, you'll navigate through it, bro. Like, that, that's yeah. a that's a big thing, though. Like, it really is. Yeah, it's like you're like, what the hell? And plus, you have to have someone showing you around. That's the that's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, is Go getting getting to all these spots. Go with Clairvaux, you'll be good. Wait, it's like it's like great, bro. I'm, I can't believe you've never been out there. That's insane man. to me. It's like you're it's like you're heaven out there. You would fucking the love ledge me. spots are unreal. Ooh. Man, honestly, the the places I really love skating is I love skating in the UK. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love skating France. <clears throat> yeah. And I love Spain. I Spain would love to great. go to Madrid. Yeah. I've never been to Madrid. Madrid's amazing. I would like to check out like man, Magnus Borda. I, am I saying this like Bordovic or Bordewick? The, the dude, dude that was on Adidas and he, numbers. Yeah, the, yeah, he just came out he with that part. He just dropped a part. Yeah. Oh my god, Ooh. dude! I'm that dude's like biggest fan for real. Like that, the spots that that guy skates, and I don't know if it's in like Sweden or Norway, mm -hmm. but those spots over there, like Bobby De Kaiser skates a bunch of those spots in um, his last Converse part, mm -hmm. and he told me like all those spots over there are unreal, and the people, the culture. I would, I would like to. It's. It's dope. It's different looking than like the yeah. average European. So place, that's you know? the top on your list right there. China's not on it. I just don't like the the aesthetic wise. There's no feeling. There's mm -hmm. no there's no vibe out of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I if I had a month that. deadline to film a primitive part, yeah, I would probably <laughs> go to China. Okay. Have, you, have you been to Stalin Square? <laughs> yeah, I have. Did you like it? Not unfortunately, but dude, I've drawn. You want to hear something funny? I'll tell uh -oh. you something. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Damn. So I've always wanted to skate Stalin. Mm -hmm. Always. My first time skating Stalin was on a on the Euro primitive trip in front of like a thousand kids, a oh, thousand people. Gosh. Just fucking. Yeah. And one kid, my board slid out to this kid and I'll never forget it, man. And fucking he, I went to pick it up and he kind of like sent it back to me. He's like, you'll land something. And I was like, mm. Wow, that about, that about sums it up. Like, <laughs> like, I'm just gonna go over here and cruise around and not do anything. It bummed me out, to be yeah. honest. But yeah, it sucks that like one dude could just yeah tear down a, a whole situation, and, and you're trying to enjoy this the moment. You know what I mean? And like skate with your peers and, and do the so called demo for some people. Like damn, uh, that like let alone skating a spot and then maybe trying to get a clip or something, or even just having fun. But then having all these people around you watching, yeah, it's like it's a lot. Come on, bro. Yeah, but then it's also like. I'm getting used to the spot. We're all warming up. Right. But then you got like Tiago and Carlos and Paul and Gio Ooh. and all those, Trent, all those dudes just flying around at the time, landing everything. Like things I've never even done on a skateboard. They're just <laughs> rifling it off. Clockwork. Then, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when he did that switch pop, shove it late 180, like oh, super gnarly, yes, right? Yes, that was there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I didn't even realize that. that was <laughs> Wow. That was a lot of people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my dude. I had shaky legs for sure. Yeah, That's great. When you skate a demo, your like legs the, get shaky. Like just the 50 50s oh. and the no slides, like to break in that. There's can, no saving you. I know. <laughs> There's no saving you at Stalin. Like at Stalin, it's a street spot. You yeah, know what I mean? It's yeah. not a. It's not a park. There's right. not a hip that you can kick flip and frontside flip and do it all <laughs> heels. Like you, you're skating flat. You're warming up on flat. You're skating ledges that are real ledges that you've never skated. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it was a different animal. <laughs> it was fun though. It was an experience. I can't say I haven't been through the same thing, bro. I've definitely gotten to that <laughs> point where I'm just like everyone's killing it around me. Like in the, yeah, you get the shaky leg and you're just like, you know what? Let's sit this one out. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Everyone everyone plays a different role though. That's what I realized. No I'm doubt. like, you have like those dudes like the 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 Tiagos and all those guys that can handle the demos. Then you see me on the side. I think Wade's kind of the same way. I don't I, whatever, but this is I would assume it's like you kind of scurry to the side and you skate some flat ground with the, some random kids sure. and hang yeah. out on the side. And For sure. that's how it is, you know. Right. That's how I would do it. Yeah. That's how I would do it too. Yeah, I'd maybe do one nose grind on the ledge and just bounce. I'd be yeah, like, later, silent out. Yeah, Here, Houdini. Where's, where's Starbucks? And then, and then kids, kids straight up were like, "Yo, I, I'm playing skate with Wade Sarmo over there. That was so fun." You know, like mm -hmm. now, there's a way that you can make it work oh, and yeah, like there you is. know interact with the kids and make it about that. You know, versus but going out and being. Like it was that it dude. was an awesome time. Don't yeah. get me wrong, I loved being there. It was just at the same time, yeah. once it was all done, I'm looking at the spot, being like, "Fuck, we're going to." A, another place another city tomorrow and you want to skate it yeah that that was my stalling time right like Damn. yeah 
<laughs> right time to but shine. But then if you right do there. that, hey. if you go to the you skate flat in the side, and then the filmer comes like, hey, can you get some tricks for the edit, dude? We need some tricks for our tour video. And you're like, fuck. Or you're just yeah. over skating one thing and you're having a great time on that thing, but the filmers are over here oh, yeah. on like the <laughs> yeah. rail or something. Yeah. And you're like, well, I'm up to the... Like, yeah. <laughs> I, to, I mean, I could get something if you would have... It's always the big section that gets the attention. You Dude, know? I'm never on the big section. Yeah. Yeah. It is though. You're Come right, catch you're right. me on the ledge, bro. Yeah. Right. Got a manual pad there? He might be here for a while, but yeah. like, I can get a clip. I can get a clip. There's not many demos anymore, huh? Especially now. I um, feel like in the heyday of chocolate and girl, like we were going to demos it, every summer, mm -hmm. at least there was a whole, a whole mm -hmm. three months of demos lined up like mm -hmm. here, there and fucking everywhere. Once social media really kicked off, like things kind of slowed down, I think demo wise for some reason. It's true. You know, it kind of uh, put a wrench in it a little bit. Yeah. Cause, cause then now kids could just reach out from, reach out to you from anywhere. Yeah. But, yeah sure. but I just think like, it was always different when pros and like even amateurs and teams would just come to like my town in Ottawa, you know, like no matter who it was, it was mm -hmm. just like, yo, they're fucking anti here or whatever. It's like, let's go see these oh. dudes skate, mm -hmm. you know, in person. Totally. Like we see them in the videos, even though we don't really can't relate to the type of skating that they're doing, obviously. But like then when you see them in person, the understanding you get and like the, the respect you gain for their type of skating and like how much power they have or, the slams they take. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. you notice little nuances when you see someone in person, you know? Totally. And I think that, I don't know, you don't really get that in Instagram. How yeah. crazy is that when you see someone that you've been idolizing for so long in real life? Mm -hmm. That is like a, like in skateboarding especially. Oh my right. God. I remember seeing like Jason Dill as a kid, I'm like, dude, that's fucking Jason Dill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you yeah. can't even, like, it's like they look different, but they're exactly the same. You know, like they're shorter, or, and then I, don't I never, know. Mo I no, never noticed true. that mole on his chin. Or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like but then you see him something creepy, you know. But then you see them not landing tricks because you only oh, yeah. see them land tricks right. in the videos. It humanizes them. Yeah, you're like, oh, this is kind of cool. Like, I don't know. Or it's the, the complete opposite, and it's well, like I remember seeing Appleyard and McCrank at like an early age and being like, sick. They don't miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> There are those dudes like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. There's some special guys. Because so, yeah. skating goes in waves too, right? It's like up, it's down, it's up, it's down. I think when social media kind of came in too, like skateboarding was kind of on a downward, you know, like companies were going out of business and there was, a, there was kind of a big kind of little shake up. So, you know, yeah. I mean, I remember I, it was like, I would, I would, I got a phone call one time from like Sam, like, Hey, we're going to Australia like tomorrow. You want to go? I'm like, yeah. Sick. Like, that doesn't happen. Oh, I, don't yeah. know. I don't even talk to Sam anymore. Like he said, tomorrow. <laughs> no, well, but, I, no I but it was literally like four days from now. It wow. was like, and I saw somebody had dropped out yeah. and I was just in there. Let's it's, go. Like, oh, it's a demo tour. Okay. I'm like, yeah, let's, let's go. go. I'll nose grind that ledge over there. I remember Roger saying, he was like, yeah, companies don't, aren't going to focus on demos or traveling yet because people can just reach out on Instagram like we were saying. So they folk like, hey, have the writers be posting more, mm -hmm. and then we don't have to spend money on these demo trips or whatever. And I, I, I think, think it's kind of like kinda, that's. I mean, that's kind of weird because it takes out the traveling element that everyone kind of gets together and, and they, mm -hmm. you know, camaraderie. Totally. Yeah. They, yeah, they come together for a specific reason, right? Yeah. yeah. But like, I mean, I thought it was cool to like travel and then do social media. Definitely. I was like, that's where I was like, let's go. Let's go to DC. Let's go to New York. Let's do all this shit. And just well, it's almost like nowadays with the social media, you, you see those people who are like on the private jets and you're like, oh, this guy's life is great. <laughs> right, Raid? You know what I mean? Like, but in, in the aspect of like, he's uh, sorry, you almost choked on <laughs> He almost choked on his water. Yes. <laughs> so was, uh, tea. But with the Rolex <laughs> and the thing, and they're in the car, and they're with the, you know, they're in the hot tub, you know. But it, it would Kelly would be the same thing though as the skateboarders going to all these countries. Is that fucking private plane is that what you said? You know, what, you know who I'm talking about, Wade. It's these fucking. You know, it's just funny. <laughs> but it'd be almost the same thing as a skaters, right? Like jet setting around the world going to these barcelonas and oh now they're here now they're there though it's something intriguing about yeah that, that is true you yeah. know people want to follow along people don't understand what it's like if they're not in the industry doing it unfortunately but we can show them you're out in the streets every day filming you're not on the beach fucking drinking no. mai tais all day no. oh you go to barcelona you you're on the beach you're enjoying it's, it's not that type of trip like yeah. No, Th those type of trips come around once in a blue moon, right? Where you could kind of just do your thing, skate, film, do whatever. But yeah. for the most part, live in the moment. Yeah. I don't even remember what little 
providence I was in what country like yesterday. You know what I mean? Like you dr you, you drive through, you fly on a plane, you go here, you go there. I mean, it's like, dude, I don't know what spot was in what country. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, like, what was that, 19 or 20 when we went to Spain, Wade? We, we were <laughs> drinking like every night. We were like happy to, or at least I was. Like, I'm going to the bar. We would have a good old time come back at like three in the morning. I'd be up at nine o'clock skating all day. Yeah. There's no way I could do that after around 25. Right. You know what I mean? No, you move a lot slower. You move a lot slower, but those were the days, man. Those were no the doubt. real good days. Well, yeah. nowadays you just be jump roping at nine o'clock at night. Fucking get. I can't hyped. do it at night. I, can't. Oh. <laughs> I do it in the morning, dude. Okay. First thing in the morning. Okay. Hey. You're like, I'm tired. I said, I can't do it man. at night. <laughs> Waking up and I'm tired from jump roping last night, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if I could skate today. I was bro. up till two really in the morning fucking, jump roping last night. Man. Jump roping all night. Man. Was fucking, I was at those oof, right over there by that club. <laughs> Jump roping. Jump roping in front by of the, the club. club. Yeah, by the club. <laughs> <laughs> Just in line for the club, jump roping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's drinking, he's sitting there you jumping. Jump roping. <laughs> man, my legs are done. <laughs> Sweating. Man, barely walk today. I need some water to rehydrate. Oh, man. Uh, Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah. It's on your it's on left. Right. No, on left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of. Like oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.